Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. She's a doozy today. Um, before I get started to this, let me show you guys. I, I don't think I showed you guys the dried results um, of this painting. It's now dried and also has resin on it. So you, unfortunately, you're going to get a glare. Um, but it did dry. I can't, it's so, my camera is so far away because this canvas down here is so big for today's painting. Um, but look how nice it turned out. Super pretty. Don't mind the glare, but, uh, yeah. And so this piece has sold and it's going off to its new home in the U S and then this is the dried not yet resined results of my last painting. Oh my gosh, my hands, <laughs> so far away. I guess I should have done a regular intro where you see my face and all that, but I just wasn't ready for that today. So you get this, but yeah, this dried so well as well. And that's gonna get a top coat of crystal resin and it's going to shimmer and shine. And speaking of crystal resin, stay tuned for an upcoming video. There is going to be a resin sale with some goodies. So stay tuned if you want to purchase resin at a sale price with an extra discount and get some goodies all in one shot. Uh, that's coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. Now, all right, I've got my Fluid Art Co. Or I mean my Fluid Art Experience, sorry, apron on. And so I'm working on a 24 by 36 inch canvas. Now, I normally wouldn't work on a piece this large because I can't ship something this large um, without costing a flipping fortune. But this one is actually not being shipped anywhere. It is um, going, I'm making it for someone special. Um, someone super special to me. Um, I'm not gonna get into details, but this person uh, means a lot to me and if you are a longtime follower of mine and you know you know me in and out and so well, you would remember that at the beginning of the year I was going through a really hard time and lots of changes happened in life. And you know, I moved, I'm in a new studio, a new home, um, you know, all that stuff. And someone special came into my life and I couldn't be happier. And some of you have actually noticed, um, you know, I've seen the comments. You're, you're so much happier. You're, you're smiling all the time. Well, yes, there's a reason for that. Um, so yeah, I am making this painting for that special person in my life. So, um, and I'm doing it with the same colors as the painting that I just showed you guys. So let me tell you guys what, what I'm doing here. Um, I have a massive massive and heavy jug of paint where the color I mixed myself. This is nine cups. This is nine cups. Okay. Nine cups or two liters almost, or if you like 72 fluid ounces or 2.2 quarts, take whichever measurement you want. But I've got that. Oh my gosh, that's so heavy. I've got that mixed in here. Now, how much do I need for this? Couldn't tell you. So I mixed an extra, uh, you know, huge amount because I actually have to do another commission for another client using the same colors. This piece was so popular and um, everyone seemed to have loved it. And I've got a few commissions to do for it. So if I do have extra paint in the jug, that's a great thing because I'm going to need it because I've got a few more to do. Now, what is that base paint? You ask, it is a mixture of three different colors. It is Payne's Gray by Amsterdam. It is uh, Neutral Gray by Amsterdam. Payne's Gray, Neutral Gray, and some Prussian Blue Thalo by Amsterdam. Now, you kind of have to play with it. I think there's like um, one, maybe about 50% of the gray and about, I don't know, 30% of the Payne's Gray, and then about 20% of 
the Prussian blue. So this, it's got mostly this, then this, and then this. Um, but again, it's just something you have to play with. I don't have exact measurements. I'm sorry. Um, it just, it is what it is. I was just kind of playing around with it and trying to figure out a color that I liked and went well. So I've mixed a ton of this and my colors are here. And if you are new watching and you want to know how I mix my paints, I mix them with water and Floetrol, flood Floetrol, and you can get all the ratios and how to mix paints in video number 434. I will link it up here at the top. Click on that link and it'll give you a full tutorial on how I mix my paints and all of that fun stuff. Now, the colors I'm using, we've got Pearl Cream by Arteza or Arteza. Um, Oxide Black by Amsterdam, followed by Antique Bronze by Deco Art. Then we have Pearl Space Gray by Arteza. Then Titanium Buff Light by Amsterdam. And then topping it off, I've got Blue Black Indigo by Atelier. So those are my colors, okay? And I'm going to be using the Flower Hair Dryer. Um, a lot of people lately have been asking me, what are these bottles? Where do you get them from? They are from Loli Vefi. Okay, information in the description below. Um, and you can save 10% off your order using code Canela10. Now, before I get started by flooding my canvas, just a reminder, for those of you who are interested in doing a live workshop and coming to learn, you know, with me, live and in person. I will be in Dallas, Texas, October 27th and 28th, and I will be doing four-hour workshop, four classes, on two on the Friday, two on the Saturday. They're four, they're four hours each class, and I will be doing them with Massey Art Studio, which is Lee and Jeremy. So if you want to come and paint with us, the three of us, and learn a bunch of techniques, uh, I'm going to be doing a resin beach pour. There's going to be a class on a large canvas, not this large, but a large canvas and all kinds of other, uh, you know, fun stuff to learn. So if you want information on that and you want to attend, um, you can email us at fluidartwithfriends at gmail.com and we shall send you all the information you need and the registration form and all that. Um, we are like three quarters sold out. So if you want a spot, you know, you're running out of time because that is coming up. All right. I'm going to <laughs> carefully flood my canvas and I shall be right back. Ever, by the way um, that took a long time but canvas is now flooded and I'm just trying to figure out what so I ended up using I'm down to four cups so I used about five cups worth actually for this something like that so kind of gives you an idea all right I still have four cups left and I started with nine so there you go all right, um, composition, I haven't really thought about what the heck I'm doing, um, so I'm kind of going to wing it. My goal is um, less negative space. The less negative space, the better. So let me start by doing that. So, and then I'm going to add more because... This is a really big canvas and I want to make sure I have enough paint to blow around. Okay, so now I think I'm going to do a wispy this way and then maybe branch off this way like that. And then 
Uh, let's, if I go this way and branch off this way, maybe, I don't know. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't have a method or a plan to my madness here. Yeah, I'm going to go, if I go this way, if I go this, no, this way. Yes, this way. Oh yeah, I almost went wrong. This way and then branch out this way. Yeah. So let's go this way. Okay. And branch out this way. I don't know. Well, what's done is done. Okay, there. Now that I have my initial line, I'm good to go. So now that that's ready, and I, I'm, you don't need to concentrate so much, I am super thrilled that on Thursday, I am flying out to Asheville, North Carolina for Kathleen's wedding. I'm so excited. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over this one more time. So Kathleen is from Cause Creations is getting married to Rick and the wedding is this upcoming weekend. And I'm so excited to be going on this trip with my special person. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, I'm excited. And I'm excited to see some familiar faces that I haven't seen in a while. You know, uh, I'm going to get to see Lee and Jeremy twice in one month. Can you believe that? I'm going to see them at the wedding and then I'm going to see them in Dallas for the uh, Fluid Art with Friends. So um, Billy from Fluid Art Co. Nate Bright from Nate Bright Art. Sarah Mack. So many people. I can't wait to see everyone. It's been so long. I think I just reset my hair dryer. Uh, I, this is a lot of paint. <laughs> On the bright side, if I screw it up, I'm pretty sure he won't mind. <laughs> he'll, he'll still love it because I made it for him. So, anywho, all right. And yeah, so some of you have caught on over the months. Things have been changing for me. But uh, you know what they say, everything happens for a reason and there's a silver lining to everything. So although I was down and out and having a really hard time with life at the beginning of the year, things have definitely changed for me and life can be happier. So yeah, that's a little bit of tidbit for you guys from me. All right, last color and holy smokes, I think I may have overdone it on the uh, paint here. So I'm gonna have to really work hard on um, blowing a lot of this off the canvas. Holy smokes, this might be a bad thing. <laughs> I don't know yet. It's been so long since I've done such a massive canvas. And, you know, the key is if you don't have enough paint on it, you're not going to have enough paint to blow anything and create these nice petals when you're blowing it out. So sometimes I feel like more is better. And then you have the opportunity to blow it off the canvas if you want, as opposed to not having enough. And then you know, as you're blowing, it's stopping dead in its tracks because there isn't enough paint on the canvas to blow it out. So, you know, you don't want too much base paint, but if you end up putting too much colored paint, it's okay because you can blow that off. Okay, I'm going to start here and blow into the negative space. And oh my gosh, cross your fingers for me, people. This is going to be a long, slow process. Take it slow, super duper slow, very slow. All right, let's go.
<laughs> oh yes i love it oh my gosh that was like i think literally the longest blowout i've ever done and i did it so well oh yes holy smokes gosh i tell you guys putting the blue black indigo by atelier last and on the top really really adds like i love this part right here with the titanium buff light and then even this streak over here oh it looks amazing now there was there really was a lot of paint on the canvas but that's okay i blew quite a bit of it let's see most of it not really off the sides but um the amount of negative space is perfect this is just what i wanted the cell reaction is great i don't think there's anything I want to touch and even if there was I don't think I'd be able to reach it unless I literally climbed on top of the table um, I literally blew this out perfectly I have my negative space here like a river of negative space here it's in here here just everywhere where I even here everywhere where I wanted it you know with the wispies none of my wispies touched each other and combined which is always you know sometimes a hard thing I love it. I'm so happy with this. I cannot wait for him to see it. His name is Anthony. All right. I keep saying him there. Now, you know. Okay. So <laughs> I am going to um, touch up my edges because it needs some touching up here. And I've actually filled the Loli Vefi bottle with this actual color. So it makes it easier for me to touch up, touch up my edges. And I'm going to bring you guys in for a close-up because I know you guys are so far away and it's probably hard to see it. But wait till you see this up close. Um, I will be right back. All right. So I've finally fixed all the edges. And don't forget you want to take a stick and you want to scrape those drips. Okay. Super important. Scrape all four sides. Come back to your painting 10 minutes later, do it again and then a third time and then it should be good to go. This is so big, I have to like come all the way back here just to get like a full shot, which even then I can't get a full shot. But let's check it out. Now this is what you see, the um, blue black indigo by Atelier. This is what I'm talking about. It leaves such a nice, turquoisey navy blue color I love it this is so perfect I couldn't have asked to have a better outcome like I mean this is what I was expecting this is what I wanted I've got just the right amount of colors in here the brown which is the what antique bronze or whatever it was you know, it's turned out to be like a nice brown color along with the titanium buff light, which is cream. You know, that spot right there, I really love that spot. And it just all matches so well with the blue background. Like, I mean, it's, this is perfect. I love it. So there it is. Now let's check out the shimmer. All right, so I've got the flash on. I probably won't do the entire painting because you'll get the gist of it, but this is that, this is the antique bronze. Is it antique bronze? Yes, antique bronze by Deco Art. So just as beautiful as the 24K by Deco Art. And yeah, you might want to be a little more light handed with it because it probably, as you can see, does kind of take over just like the 24K, but I really like it though. I think it just fits perfectly in with this. If I had done 24 karat gold, I think it'd be a little too yellow for me for this painting. And I just really like the fact that it's more of a dark brown. You know, it looks much better than the 24K in this particular painting. See, there's that blue black indigo. It just, it looks really pretty. Like these colors just match so well. 
And there you have it, everybody. Um, I would love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. It's so big. I can't wait till this dries and then I add resin to it. It's going to be <laughs> incredible. It's going to be amazing. And then see it hanging up on the wall is going to be amazing. So let me know what you think. Is this not cool or what? If anyone wants a piece of their own on a smaller canvas size, um, you could definitely commission one. And uh, you can email me at canelasaraco at gmail.com if you are interested in a commission um, like this or any other kind of commission. Commissions are open, so email me. Again, if you want to see me in Dallas, Texas with Lee and Jeremy from Massey Art Studio, come and join us for Fluid Art with Friends, October 27th and 28th. Uh, come and paint with us and learn with us live in person. Um, at the Renaissance Hotel in Dallas, Texas. Email us at fluidartwithfriends at gmail.com for inquiries. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Anthony, I know you're watching. <laughs> um, I'm sure he'll come over later and come and see it in person and tell me what he thinks, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna love it. So that's it for me for now. Until next time, my friends. Wait, were you guys watching this? This is, you guys are watching this on Saturday. I got one more video and then I'm off to North Carolina for the wedding. So you'll see me one more time. So until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.